Okay, let's talk about the volume of a pyramid. And the first thing I want to do is talk about uh, how to draw a pyramid so you understand exactly what a pyramid is. Um, you begin by drawing a polygon basically as the floor. So, for example, if you wanted to draw a rectangular floor, you might do something like this. And then, if you recall, uh, let's use that same base over here. To draw a prism, you would simply copy that base shape and you would connect the vertices, okay? So this is a rectangular prism. It's a right rectangular prism. Um, and to calculate the volume of this, you take how much space the, air, the base takes up, which is the area. So you take the area of the base times the height, and that fills up the entire three-dimensional space. And that's how you calculate the volume of a rectangular prism. Okay? So a pyramid is very similar. You could use the same base, but instead of copying that base above here, you simply put a single point up here at the top, somewhere like this. This point is called the apex. I suppose it's not terribly important. But from the apex, now you connect that apex, that point, to all of the vertices of your base, all the corners. Okay? So this is how you draw a pyramid, and then if you'd like to, you could always come back and sort of dash the, the lines that are kind of hidden, that should really be hidden here. So I think these are the ones that are hidden, something like this. Okay, so here's a pyramid with a rectangular base, so it'd be called a rectangular pyramid. And to calculate the volume of this, sorry about that, to calculate the volume of this, it's very similar to calculating the volume of the prism with the same base, except the way to think about a pyramid is that it is one-third of the prism. Now, it's not obvious why that's true, and without maybe some calculus or something, we wouldn't be able to see, understand why, but just take my word for it that this pyramid takes up one-third of the space that its prism would take up. So the volume of this would be one-third of the prism volume, right? Because we started with the same base, so this pyramid and this prism have the same base, and they have the same height, let's say. Okay, so uh, by the way, the height of a pyramid is measured like this to the apex perpendicular to the floor of the pyramid. Okay, so they have the same height, they have the same base, the pyramid and the prism. So take one third times the prism volume, which is listed over here. So you take the area of your base and you multiply that by the height. And that's how you calculate the volume of a pyramid, you simply take one-third of the prism volume. 